hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and uh, this uh, video as well in this video so guys as you can see i have taken or i have brought uh, one topic which is comparison or difference uh, differences between uh, or you can say the features what are the features available in server 2008 12 16 and 19 windows server and uh, i'm sure this video will be helpful for you guys if you want more videos on different different topics you can subscribe my youtube channel uh, where I have uploaded so many videos like uh, networking, uh, security, uh, Windows Server, Azure uh, and lots of things you can find from this uh, channel and uh, if, if you wish please subscribe it and uh, hit this notification button so you will get all the you know uh, uh, notifications here updated videos so guys let me begin with this in this I will be talking about you know some around 19, uh, 19 features and whether they are supported in 2008, uh, 12, 16 or 19 or not and I have uh, divided this video or this topic into part like what are the features supported for Azure available in server 2016 or all the four version and for applications okay so there are 14 uh, topic I will be or features I will be talking about application support and uh, like uh, five features for azure compatibilities so the very first one let me begin with this and uh, the very first one is storage migration service so what does it mean first of all you should understand then it is uh, it will be easy okay then i will tell you whether it is supported in 2008 or not or 2012 or not so storage migration service it helps to inventory and migrate data and security and configuration from legacy system to 2000 server 19 and uh, azure if you have legacy servers from there you if you want to migrate certain things or you want inventory so that that this feature is helpful for you that that purpose and it is available in server 2019 only and the rest of three server will not support this feature like 12 okay it is fully supported in 2019 only this is a new feature added in the server next one is next feature like synchronizing file uh, server to azure if you are using azure and if you have uh, your traditional data center on premises if you want the synchronization between both the locations then you can use this feature and this feature is available in 2012 2016 and 2019 only it is not supported in 2008 so this is a disadvantage in this server 2012 or 2008 if you are if you want to synchronize your files with azure next one uh, system inside brings so system inside brings is a feature which helps you to give certain you know predictions about your system uh, capabilities so it, it it helps you to you know analyze couple of things and decide your operations as per the uh, requirement and you can even save a couple of expenses so this is very helpful and this uh, feature is available in uh, available in server 2019 only so as you can see here it, 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 it is locally analyzed windows server system data to provide high accuracy uh, predictions that help reduce the operation operational expenses uh, associated with uh, reactively managing windows server instances okay so it is a uh, prediction kind of uh, facility or compatibility of this feature and which is available in 2019 only the rest of prior version of this windows server like 2008 19 uh, 2008 12 and 16 will not have this feature available next feature is azure network load balancer so azure network load balancer is a feature which is helpful you guys to connect to azure from your server if you are using 2019 it, it is a feature you can easily connect to your azure by using this uh, feature and it will give you a certain facilities or services to create side to site or site to uh, point to site kind of virtual vpn network easily without any uh, mistake or any problem and th this is available in 2019 only the rest of three prior version 2008 12 and 16 this feature is not available so next one is vm protections so guys vm protection is like it is a replication of your uh, workload to multiple virtual machines uh, from primary site to secondary site or it is like uh, 
uh, your high probability redundancy fault tolerance so it is supported again in 2012 16 and 19 only it is not available in 2008 so if you are using or if you want to use any i mean uh, windows server and especially if you have couple of work which is related to azure so you can go for 2019 because it is having lots of features these five features i spoke about so these are uh, related to azure only okay and 2019 is providing all the features as compared to 2016 and 12 and 8 okay now i will talk about uh, faster innovation for applications so what and all uh, they have uh, uh, brought in this version of windows server in term of applications the very first one is linux container i'm talking about this feature so it is a feature guys in this it allows you to you know manage both windows and linux applications on the same environment reducing the management overhead so it is a platform where you can have both the applications like windows as well as linux on the same environment you do not need to have separate separate environment so it is supported on 2019 server only 2008 12 and 16 not available next feature windows server container so guys it is an isolation uh, it is basically what does it this feature basically it creates an isolated application environment in which you can run application without fear to or fear of change due to application and configuration so you do not need to worry about application uh, and configuration you can have a dedicated or predefined uh, uh, environment okay this is done by windows server containers so this is also uh, not supported in 2008 and 2012 it is supported fully supported in 2016 and 2019 fully supported next feature server core base container image so basically it reduces the down uh, download time and further optimize the development time and performance okay and this is available in 2019 only similarly we have one more feature which is known as nano uh, server base container image so again it is uh, just like say uh, this uh, server core base container image so basically these are image okay container image so again it is like to uh, no it will reduce workload time and further optimize the development time and performance for example nano server base container uh, we are talking about uh, 2019 so it was ab available up to a uh, i mean semi nl channel update only of windows 2009-16 but it is fully available in 2019 available in 2019 and 2016 only but this is up to semi nl channel updates only now next feature is windows server a windows core feature which is also known as feature on demand basically so basically uh, this feature will help you to you know improve the application compatibility of windows server core by including a set of binaries and packages from windows server with desktop without adding any uh, of the windows server desktop gui or windows 10 gui experience and it is supported in 2019 only 11th feature kubernetes so kubernetes platform support basically it is like uh, you know what is kubernetes first of all you should understand so it is an open source system for automatic automating uh, deployment scaling and man uh, management of uh, containerized uh, uh, applications and it is uh, it, it is having very good improvement to computing storage and networking component and server 2019 2008 12 and 16 is not supported next feature which is known as WSL Windows subsystem for Linux so it allows developer and application administrator to use tool in Linux environment alongside command prompt and power cell so this feature is supported in 2019 only no support for 8 12 and 16 next feature is like uh, we talk about uh, which is known as group managed service account okay 13th feature it provides a single identity solution for service running on server farm or system behind load balancer and uh, if you are using this uh, gmsa service or services or service so administrator do not need to uh, manage password synchronization uh, between 
service instances basically and this is available in uh, like 2019 and uh, it provides it provides or it is an improved version of uh, scalability and reliability of containers to access network resources in 2019 and it is like partially supported in 2012 partially supported in 2016 and fully supported in 2019 but 2008 server will not support this feature this feature is itself is not available in server 2008 the next feature hyper v isolation so meaning is very simple if you are using hyper v isolation it it will give you a separate isolated container environment uh, in which the host operating system cannot be affected in any way by any other running container so it is a separate container for hyper v isolation basically and this feature is available in 2016 and 2019 only not available in 2008 2006 uh, 2012 next one is azure fa uh, service fabric or uh, windows server so basically it enables you to create a multi machine azure service fabric cluster in your own data center or in public uh, cloud and this will be supported in two or three three operating system or uh, three version basically 12 16 and 2019 2008 it is not having next feature is uh, powershell 5.1 so it provides like enhanced script capabilities for applications management and deployment of software defined data center components and once again uh, like uh, it is supported partially in 2008 2012 and fully supported in 2016 and 2019 similarly we have one more feature which is known as dsc desired state configuration power cell desired state con uh, configuration so it provides uh, a set of you know power cell language extension and command line to declaratively specify how you want your uh, software environment to be configured so you can say you can create a predefined software environment with the help of uh, dsc and it is supported partially in 2009 2008 2012 and fully supported in 2016 and 2019 next feature is uh, visual uh, studio code so uh, guys this was you know very helpful for uh, uh, de uh, development operations such as debugging task running and version control to provide the tool uh, a developer need to, uh, for a quick code uh, build debug cycle so it is supported in all the version of operating system 8 16 uh, 12 16 and 19 and the next one the last of this video which is dotnet core so guys it is helpful uh, to create uh, modern web apps micro uh, services libraries and console application that run on windows server mac or linux operating system so we, and this feature is supported in all the version of uh, server 2008 12 16 and 19 so guys in this video this much only in next video i will be talking about some around 50 more features or comparison between all the features uh, uh, and uh, thanks for watching for this video if you feel this video is informative please don't forget to comment comment share like and subscribe my youtube channel and uh, if you subscribe then definitely you will be getting all the videos updated videos and if you subscribe please don't forget to hit this notification button so that you will be getting all the notification of updated videos here just like this uh, just like i showed you i think my internet is gone that is why it is not re reflecting and i told you i have uploaded lots of videos if you see here internet is gone so i am not able to tell you much so guys till then bye bye have, have a nice time and wait for my next video in that i told you some around 50 features i will be talking about